Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a very fast tutorial on how to change discs on your video games with RetroArch. In this instance, I'm using a PlayStation 1 game with RetroArch that has two discs in the story mode. First thing I'm going to do is load up the disc the way it's supposed to be. Let's say I played through the game up to this point. Let's fast forward with the space bar so we can get through this really quickly. Let's say I played up the game up to a point where I need to change the discs, which is what I'm going to load right now. There you go, it says please insert disc 2. There's a lot of different ways online you can read to fix this problem, all of which have failed for me until I figured out my own solution, which I'm going to share with you. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and close RetroArch, reopen it. This time I'm going to go to the folder I have my discs or my ROMs in. And here are the two ROMs, disc 1 and disc 2. I'm going to change the name of disc 1 to disc 1 RetroArch Sucks. Like that. And I'm going to change disc 2. I'm going to change the number 2 to number 1. So it's the exact same name as disc 1, except disc 1 has been renamed. Now I'm going to go back to RetroArch, I'm going to go back to my recent files, still going to choose the same one, hit enter run. It's going to speed up to the uh, load screen. Here it comes, it's almost there. Alright, then we're going to load the same exact file and all of a sudden, boom, we're on disk 2. That's the solution, you're welcome, thanks for watching. 